You traitor! You're just like everyone else. You're just as bad and as twisted as them. What kind of person have you been pretending to be all this time? No, that isn't what I wanted at all. I just... What? You just what? Want his money all to yourself? For you to live the life that he has? No! Then what? Stop trying to act all nice. You're just after his money. <laughs> Crystal, help me, please. I can't, I, I can't hold on anymore. You don't deserve help. Stop looking at me like that. Are you really going to keep acting like this? Stop being immature, Ordan. We can't do anything about it anymore. I'm already keeping myself quiet. But if you support that girl moving into here, then you take care of it. I won't have anything to do with it, and I don't care what happens with her while she's here. What if this is a hint mom and dad are coming back? Maybe after a year, when she moves out, they'll come back as well. Don't be delusional. This move, that girl, you're just doing it for the sake of their precious business affairs. Them coming here has nothing to do with her living here. Why do you act like you don't want them to come back? I'm not acting, Darian. I just don't. Ugh. They probably treat that girl like their own child more than they do with us. So just drop it. You should be the one to stop acting like you're okay with all of this. They're arguing again. Shouldn't we do something? Things have always been like this for the young masters. No one can stop them. I don't want to lose my job. I can't really blame them. Being left by their parents at such young ages? It's gotta be tough. Stop talking and finish what you were doing. Y yes sir! Are you busy? I'm on my way to go somewhere, but I still have some time to spare. What's wrong? Today's the big day. A new girl's moving into our house. Seriously? Well, this has got to be interesting. And here I thought you were on my side. LOL, I am. Don't worry. But still, it might be good. You and your brother may actually get along now that a girl is involved. If the people who we've known for years can't do anything about it, what more can a stranger do? I told you, things might change. Your positivity's blinding me. 
You can't do anything about that. I have to go now. TTYL, Blue. Alright. And BTW. This may be a new page for you. You have to write on it or you'll regret it. I wonder what she means by that. <sighs> Ever since I was a child, I always thought my family would remain perfect forever. I thought as long as I lived, we would always be together. But when I woke up at that time, there were our felt like this even until now I haven't seen my parents for eight years even if I could I couldn't talk to them comfortably anymore it's almost as if I've never even known them in the first place my family's broken and I don't think there's a way for it to be fixed So this is it, huh? So many times I thought you'd leave me Broken inside, I feel I've lost my sanity I don't believe in happy endings Bottom of heart and hope you'd still love me in the end Hey, I see that you're the quiet type. I apologize. It's just that I'm not really fond of the idea of me living here. I know you feel the same way, so you don't have to pretend to be friendly with me. I don't really feel that way. I heard a lot about you from your father. Uncle Ace really misses you both. I hope you can understand the situation he and Miss Simmons are in. You sound like you're really close with my dad. I have a lot to thank him for, so it's only natural. My brother isn't really the friendly type, but I hope you get along with him. I don't think I have to. Connections will only make it hard for me when I leave, wouldn't it? It's nice to be able to see you with my own eyes, though. Your parents never go short when talking about you and your brother's achievements. I see you both have gotten to know each other a bit. It's been a long time since I last saw you, Mrs. Naya. I thought you were still working with my parents. You've grown to a fine young man as well, Darian. Your parents have enough help as it is, so I decided to work with the Lynns after I moved there with your parents. They are truly kind as to support me, even if I'm not working with them anymore. It's nice to see you doing well. I'll have to go now. You two have a wonderful talk.
Does she even know her way around here? Where is she headed to? I remember her mentioning she would meet a friend as soon as we got here. This must be what she was talking about. A friend? That girl doesn't smile often. It feels as if the only reason she smiles is to show a good reputation for her parents. But ever since she met a friend online, she's been smiling genuinely to the people she feels comfortable with, and she just seems happier. Mr. Lin's mother passed away a year ago. She's been living with her away from the city ever since she was little. After she passed away, she lived with her parents again, but still lacking the attention she needed from them. She told her parents she wanted to study here, so they let her. But I honestly think she was only trying to escape from reality, even for a little while. Ever since her grandmother's death, she's changed. I guess me and Ordan aren't the only ones who have it hard here. You shouldn't feel that way, dear. But enough with the depressing talk. I've heard you're a great cook. You should join me to prepare a good welcome feast for everyone to enjoy. It would be my honor, Mrs. Naya. I can't believe I'm really seeing you in person! We have a lot to do now that we're together. I just can't wait! You're not, silly! We really are together now! Should we go around and explore? <gasps> do they have a manga store here? We should go buy new volumes of that manga I found online! I'm sure we have stores here that offers you that. <laughs> Come on! There's a store nearby that sells the best strawberry ice creams. Let's go get some of those too! Oh! You bet we will! Seriously, Ordan? What? You got tired just by eating a whole awful lot of food? I cooked the food that you ate, just so you know. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much, Darian. What do you want? Help the girl settle to school. You guys are in the same grade. You take care of her if she needs something. Why are you suddenly being kind? Weren't you against her coming here just earlier? Now you're concerned for her? I'm not being kind. I just don't want to be disturbed. I'm a senior. I have a lot of other things to worry about. Oh, really? You don't really have to tell me to help her, since I'll do it for sure. And if you're worried for her, then there's no reason for you to hide it. Like I said, I'm not worried. It's pretty obvious, Rodan. I told you, it's nothing like that. Just leave my room and sleep. Uh, 
And remember, head straight to the faculty's office first. Remind Ms. Davis to hand you your printed schedules because she's quite forgetful. And you also need to go to the gym where Mr. Miller is. He's just near the cafeteria. You ask him for your locker key. You repeated everything a million times now, or Dan. I think it's about time you stop. I'll be fine by myself, but thank you. Uh, see you guys later. Did she just do that? Quite surprising, isn't it? Her friend must also be studying in here. She looked happy when she got home yesterday from spending time with her friend. Ugh, taking care of you was hard enough. Now that she's here, my life just got two times harder. Excuse me? Darian! Hey Vi. Some students were talking about you and Orden going to school with a girl. Is that true? Oh, it is. Who is she? A friend of yours? She moved in with us the other day. She's the daughter of one of my dad's close friends. Her parents sent her here to study, and my parents offered for her to stay with us. Move in? She moved into your house? Yeah, she'll be living with us for almost a year, I guess. You okay, bye? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh shoot, we're going to be late. Let's go. your first three classes. Dixie! <laughs> gotcha. This school is amazing. I've never experienced seeing so many students at once. My old school was always about proper this and that, but here, everyone just feels so unique. It feels so relaxing to be here. I'm glad you like it. Should we go take a tour around this school, milady? The pleasure is mine, ma'am. How was your first day of school, Lana? Oh, it was good. I had fun. You sure do sound different when you're talking with your friends. I almost didn't recognize you earlier. Right? She genuinely looks happy whenever she talks with that girl. She seems to be popular too. I didn't know you created paintings for exhibits until I heard students gossiping about you. I appreciate you people getting concerned, but it's unnecessary to talk about me. Don't be like that, dear. Can I take a tour around the mansion? I've only been to my room in some places. I want to look for inspiration and feel more at home here. You can. Money transfer? For the woods? Hmm. Uncle Ace? With another girl? What are you doing? You could've just read some books. Why are you touching important files? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Don't enter this room again. 
get out. So many times I thought you'd leave me. I'll definitely bring things back to the way they used to be. Oh,